Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to match colors of balloons or maybe of subject or object that you have different colors. I'll take you straight to the video. It's very simple. You just need to the first the, the first thing that you need uh, to have is the editing software that is maybe Photoshop or any other software that you are using. For this particular case, I'm using Photoshop. Now I will need to first duplicate the, the layers. That's where you control J on the, on the keyboard to get a duplicate copy of a layer. Then you proceed. Then I will need, I will need to use the selection tool so that I can select the subject that I want to color grade or change color. I will need just to make sure that the selection is perfect. Just do the selection, make sure it's perfect. Yeah, you can zoom in, zoom out so that you can make, make sure that the selection tool gets you the required selection of the subject that, or the object that you want to select. Make sure you have an uh, accuracy of around 99%, if not 100%. Then you go under select under the top the the top column. It usually has the the items to use. Go under selection. Under selection option, you go scroll down under modify. And then you click expand. This will enable you to move out the selection layer into outwards, so that you can be able to get the the perfect selection without affecting the subject without affecting the object that you are you want to change the color then you go to the the left column where you just go and select the eye drop tool then this will help you select the color that you want to match with the others press ctrl uh, alt on your keyboard then you right click on your mouse then it give you the color the desired color that you want to to match with the others the, now on the top layer that you had already duplicated, go to the branding mode where you need to do the solid color. First you need to invert. The selection color that you had already selected need to be forward, not background. So go to solid color. Then you can see the color that the color picker had given us. Let's make sure that the color comes with a closer to the others that you want to match. Then the branding mode, you change, choose the the branding option that suits the color or gives you the accurate resolution. I can opt to choose that one. Then I'll need to reduce the opacity so that I can have a, a perfect match. I think it looks nice. Guys, I hope you have learned something from the video. That's how you do color matching or different objects or different colors. Make sure you subscribe, like and share. Give us a comment on what you would like us to cover. And I will see you in our next video. Thank you.